I don't know about you, but I am super selective about the vinyls in my collection, so when a request comes up that's on a record album that I actually own... Oh, jeez. request comes up that's on a record album that I actually own... <sighs> oh, there we go. I love this album. Feel the Pain by Dinosaur Jr. for Al K. And I just have a feeling Mr. Michael McKenzie is going to enjoy this song, so I'll throw his name in there, too. Toss this song into the bucket of songs that I thought I knew how to play until I watched videos of them playing it live. While there's a perfectly fine way to play it with no capo in standard tuning, Dinosaur Jr. had a capo on the third, collectively had a capo on the third fret, and that leads to a really neat way to play the verse, which is how they play it. Open A, D14, and G12. You are going to pluck those three notes just down once, twice, three, to get to 16 so we have four sets of four things so you need one extra one you could pluck the D string once more I saw them do that live a bunch of times or on the record it's the A string you pick it doesn't matter one two three four without moving anything else is going to make its way up to the 13th fret of the E string. And that's it. For the verse. For the controlled chaos that is the raucous jammy section, sounds like the department in Sears where I used to shop for my 90s, we're gonna grab the D and the G string 12th fret with our pointer finger. We wanna hear both those strings and the D string is going to go 12, 14, 14, 12, 14, 12. Then your pointer finger is gonna grab just the G string 12th fret and your middle finger is gonna reach for the B string 13th fret and the G string is now going to go 12, 14, 14, 12. Then we're gonna hammer on pull off on that G string 14th fret before we reach for the D string 15th fret and then pluck that G B situation at the end. Back to the first thing. Back to the GB thing on that exact rhythm. And then we're going to grab the B string 15th fret and the E string 12th fret. You might want to bolster your ring finger with your middle finger there on the B string 14th fret because we're going to bend that B string, not the E string, and this note is going to become this note. And when it does, we're going to get a cool gargly sound. So all together we have But as you get more comfortable with that and sloppier, or loose I suppose is the on purpose term, we're going to have our A string ring out for the one where we have the D and the G strings, because it fills it out more, and our D string ringing out when we have the G and the B strings. Would suggest that the chords, if you just want to play some chords there with capo 3, are A, D, A, D, A, A. Is it up to me? I'm going to call this the bridge, which makes the raucous jammy section the chorus, and in my mind, the chorus of this song has no words, which is one of the reasons I like it so much. But you can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. I'm going to call the relative the capo chords, it's going to be B minor, that's 2, 4, 4, Then E, and we're going to mess around with the suspended 4 with our pinky on the G string 2nd fret. Followed by C sharp minor relative to the capo now, 4, 6, 6, 5. And then A. And the correct chord is F sharp minor, although on the studio recording and on all the live ones I watched, I did not hear a whole F sharp minor chord, but you go ahead and play that if you want. I heard anything in between an F sharp power chord and just a crazy F sharp note on the E string second fret. So here we go. B minor. E. And 
that takes care of all the pieces. That part happens twice in a row the second time it happens. And for the crazy, crazy, crazy solo at the end, you can either continue doing the... Or you can use the actual A minor pentatonic scale relative to capo. It's the F sharp minor pentatonic scale, but you can do it down here. Let's say actual frets here. Five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. Do your thing. Or you can move a whole octave up, which is where they spend most of their time on 1720. 1719, 1719, 1719, 1720. See what I mean? But that's it for Dinosaur Jr. Feel the pain. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful. And I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.